Okay, so we're going to uh, add some scr uh, um, script in for this to make it animate. Okay. So what you do now is if you go to Blueprint at the top and go to Open Level Blueprint, this is where you're going to add um, your script in. Now you might have some nodes already in here. I've I've removed them from here to make it easier to see. So. The first thing that we need to do is we need to select the iron gate animation, okay, which we named before. Go back to your uh, level script, right click, and go create reference to iron gate animation. Might want to zoom in with the mouse scroll. Just a quickie as well, if you right click you can move the event graph around okay. and then drag from the blue uh, node left click and drag and release and then type in play and if we scroll down you'll see play sequence that's what we want and what that will do that will play the animation that we've already made before but we need something to trigger this so we'll compile and save that before we go back we need something to trigger the door to open the easiest way is to add a trigger box if you look on the left hand side in the actors that you can choose from if you drag the trigger box into the door and this is just a volume that you can expand okay i'm just going to expand that so it fills the doorway like everything else it's an actor which you can move around so you can see here that the 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 box that I've put in place is when the player walks into the box that's what will trigger the animation obviously when the player moves out of the box it will trigger the reverse I'll show you how to do that in a second so let's sort out the animation when the player goes into the box make sure the trigger box is selected go back to the action script right click and you'll see you've got these things at the top associated with the trigger box go to add event to trigger box one go to collision and then add on actor begin overlap and then just connect that up with the play and what that will do is as soon as the actor goes in, inside the trigger box the animation of the um, door will play and we also want it to, to, do the, to, do, to do the reverse when we come out. So again, I compile and save. Go back in here. It's already selected the trigger box. So back inside level blueprint. Right click. Add event. Collision. Add actor. End overlap. But this time we want to play the reverse of the animation. So we drag from the sequence player. And just type in reverse. And you can see play reverse is highlighted a node there and then we just wire those up compile and save and then we can test it out and we walk up to the gate and the gate opens we move away from the gate and the gate closes so that's how you create interactive door so try and add a door to your to your castle.